Hey guys, in this video I'm going to explain what Store RS is and how you can use it. So Dicom Web has something called Store RS. This is Store Over the Web, and this enables you to implement easily uh, sending of images to a Dicom Web server, which supports Store RS. So you could imagine a mobile app which could take an image of a hand and then that JPEG image can be sent with this Store RS um, to the Dicom server and the Dicom server then wraps it in Dicom and then it's possible to visualize using Dicom viewers. On the Dicom for G archive light web page or GitHub uh, wiki page there is a good explain explanation of how Store RS uh, technically works and um, it's this uh, post function which is sent to the archive which is then processing it and storing the objects so they also give uh, very good examples though so there's a dicom for g tool uh, which has a store rs tool and how you can use it to send um, you can send Dicom objects directly, but you can also send uh, images like in, for example, the JPEG format. And with that tool, it is easy, well, kind of short commands to, to send, um, send files, but you can also use it with curl. So they explain how to send a Dicom file over curl or uh, JPEG, or in this case, two JPEGs. With, with a curl command and when you're doing this you need to give a metadata JSON file as well and uh, yeah if you want to see this in action I'll give a demo of um, how it works in the Dicom 4G archive so this archive UI acts also as a store RS client so here if we go into the patients view, or we could go also into the studies view, but here in the patients view, let's go for example with the this patient is called knee lat, and um, there's only one study on this patient currently, but if we press on the three dots here, there is um, upload file, and this is where we can upload for example a JPEG. So let's now let's press on F12 to go into a developer mode in the browser so we can see the actual transactions. And now let's go to the new patient and press on the upload button. And with browse, we can select the file. So let's do that. So I, I browsed and selected a file, simple image test JPEG. This is a very small JPEG image and I would say it's a photograph. And there is also a possibility to edit the attributes. So it's it's giving some some attributes by default here, but you can also add new ones and, and edit them if you want to play around with this. But let's now oh okay, sorry about that. Wasn't meant to close it. I was going to press on start upload, but now we're back here and yeah, the store server that's back for G, and then just press on start uploading. And when there's a small tick mark here, you know it's completed, and you can press on close. And here in the debug view, we can see there were a few gets, but this is the post which was sending the, the study. And here on the right hand side, if we go to request, we can actually see what the request looks like which was sent out. So we can see it's, um, it's a multi-part um, message, which has first content type application, DICOM plus JSON. So here we have the DICOM tags, which were included. And then we have the second part, which is content type image JPEG. And we have the file name here, and this is the file in 
binary format. This is not base64 encoded or anything like that. And it then goes down until here. And we have the end of that multi part here. And if you would want to, you, you could um, you could press here and edit and resend. So then you can also see like here the, for example, content length, accept encoding, uh, content type is multi-part related type, application documentation, boundary. And, and here you have the body, which we, we just looked at. And you, you kind of could edit here the tags and, and press send again. And it, well, if you press send, it, it does send it. But if you try editing the binary part, most likely gets just corrupted and, and will fail. And mm, because that's in binary format, I actually tried, I would, would, would have wanted to use Postman to um, to test this out, but I couldn't figure out how to use Postman for this, mainly because when you use Postman with the uh, body in raw format, uh, trying to copy that binary data in there gets corrupted and then it fails. So if, if you know a solution for that, uh, please let me know down below in the contents if you get that working in Postman. If you found this video helpful in understanding how Sto RS technically works, uh, please give the video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.